Welcome to Gare du Nord, otherwise known as Gare du Nord train station in Paris, France. It is the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe. Now this video is going to provide a lot of information about tickets, washrooms, the layout of all the tracks in the train stations, and Eurostar, along with providing a walk through the train station just so you know what to expect when you get in the train station. Now if there's certain questions I haven't answered in this video, don't hesitate to pop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Paris, France and the Gare du Nord or Gare du Nord train station in northern Paris. Just for context, we have a map here and the Gare du Nord train station is in the 10th arrondissement. Now it is the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe. It is north of the Seine River and it is close to tourist attractions like the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe and the Musée du Louvre. Now here's a map of a section of Europe. It's basically Paris and Northern Europe. And this is the section that the trains from the Gare du Nord will service. So I have circled Paris here. The trains from the Gare du Nord will go to Lille, which is in Northern France. It'll go across up into London with the Eurostar. It'll also go to Brussels, Amsterdam, and over into Germany into Cologne. On to the next map. We've got a lot of information on this little map slash slide here because Gare du Nord is the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe and you've got a lot of different transportation lines and hubs coming into the Gare du Nord. Now I am going to circle this little red dot here. I hope you can see it. This is where I'm going to start this video from. But then I'm going to circle this section here and this is basically outlines all the Metro and RER trains that are coming in to the Gare du Nord. I came in on Metro Line 4 today. So there are three Metro Lines that service this main train station, Lines 2, 4 and 5 of the Metro system. Now also you've got the RER, you've got Lines B, D and E coming in here. Now what makes the RER B line so important? is that it also connects this train station to both airports in Paris, Charles de Gaulle and Orly. So a lot of people are getting off planes, they're getting on the RER, which is basically a train, a fast train that's taking them right from the airport, right into the center of Paris, into the Gare du Nord, and then people will get around from there. Next, I wanna talk about the buses. Now we've got a number of bus locations where you can catch buses just beside Gare du Nord here. And I, you can freeze this kind of part of the video and look at which bus stop you need to get to. So there's day buses and also night buses. And I've got them all labeled at the right here. Now the other thing that's very important about this train station is that you have the Disney Express bus and you can see where uh, its stop is which is just out and to the right of the train station so you would come out the front doors you would hang a right and it's just down there a little bit and i've also circled this section here which is another kind of uh, bus tours that uh, do bus tours of paris a lot of information there if you're looking for a hub to get in and out of Gare du Nord, whether it be the metro the rer any sort of buses, any sort of night buses, Disney bus, or any sort of open air tour bus. There's the information. Here's the last map we're gonna look at before we start the walk. This is a map of Paris. Gare du Nord, the whole train station here, and all the tracks. And I'm gonna circle this section right here. I am coming in the front of the train station. I will come in, I'll have a little look at the trains, and I'll hang a left there, and I'll go show you where you can get the tickets. And I'll see where everybody's lining up to get their tickets. And then I'm gonna walk to the whole concourse, whatever, all the way down to this end right here, show you kind of where the washrooms are, uh, give you a little idea of how busy it is, what to expect, and then I'm gonna kind of backtrack, I'm gonna go show you where the Eurostar is, because 6.6 .6 million people catch the Eurostar every year 
and I'll go up to the Eurostar, I'll kind of show you where check-in is, then I'm gonna walk back downstairs, and I'm just gonna walk out the front doors, and that'll be the end of the video. All right, here we are outside the Gare du Nord in Paris, France. You look at this kind of sculpture here, it's well known, so you know you're in front of the Gare du Nord. We look up the clock here, it's 12 noon. We're gonna head in to the Gare du Nord and have a little walk around. I'm probably gonna give you a little background here. Uh, the Gare du Nord is one of the main train stations in Paris and it's actually the busiest train station in Europe that services around 190 million travelers each year with connections to other countries such as Belgium and the Netherlands. Plus, this is where the Eurostar train arrives and departs for the UK. To the left here is the tourist office. And the reason you want the tourist office here in the Gare du Nord is because it's the busiest train station in Europe. It also has access to two of the airports, Charles de Gaulle and Orly. They have connections with the RERB that are bringing tons of tourists into this train station. As a result, you want that tourist office here because you've got so many people going through this place, you wanna make sure there's information for these people, the tourists that are coming into Paris about how to access their hotel, how to get to certain points. Maybe you wanna change train stations because you're going to the south of France, whatever the reason is. But that tourist office right there has a ton of information, great people, and if you need some help, there it is. You can see the sign there for the Grand Lines, the billet. Billet in French is tickets. We're gonna walk over and uh, show you where the ticket office is, but first we're gonna hang, kind of look over the right here where the Eurostar is. Now the first few tracks here are just for the Eurostar, and they're all, all glassed in. You cannot get in or out of there. And you're gonna see there's a sign here that says Terminal Eurostar, and it's pointing to the right, because you have to go back to the right and you have to go upstairs through customs and they put you in a lounge up away from everybody else and then they bring you over top of these trains into this glassed area because once you go through customs you're basically in England, in the UK, you're no longer in France and they don't allow you to come back across the border. So that's the border right there. But like I said, they'll take you upstairs, go through security, passport, all that sort of stuff and then bring you over top of these trains down onto this platform behind the glass. Now we're walking over to the ticket office and you can see it's a bit of a line up here. Uh, a couple pieces of advice here. Um, if you have questions about your train tickets, I would probably not go to a machine that's in the train station here. I would probably go in there, especially um, if you're a first-time person buying tickets or you're not really sure and you need some help, uh, clarification, verification about where you're going and what the best way to do it might be. Number two is, if you've got a train that's leaving at 9 a.m., don't show up at quarter to nine to try and buy your ticket. This is the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe. Uh, my advice always is, listen, if I know I'm leaving Paris in five days, when I'm arriving, I show up at the train station and I usually buy my tickets. Number one, they often sell out. Number two, if you get them earlier, sometimes you get a better price. Um, and number three, if you sometimes second class sells out, so you're left only with first class options, which usually means more money. The other thing is you might wanna leave at a certain time of day and if you don't get the tickets early enough, you might have to leave at a different time of day or later on. The last thing you wanna be doing is arriving in a city late at night that you don't know, especially when it comes to security and safety and crime and stuff like that. You don't wanna make yourself susceptible to people seeing you with luggage coming out of a train station and not know where you're going. We're gonna walk to the main train station hall here. All the tracks are on my left. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more information about the train station. The first Gare du Nord train station was officially opened in 1846. However, within only a few years it ended up being too small and by 1860 this train station was partially demolished in order to make way for a larger station and the original facade was transferred to Lille, France. 
Now we can see people lining up here for their train and we're at tracks 8 and 10 here and a lot of people will be looking up at a screen. Um, some people will be thinking, what track is my train coming in on and what's going to happen? They look up at these TV monitors and if you're going to Amsterdam, I might say Amsterdam, track 7 or track 10 and you're just going to go over and you're going to wait for it to come in. But also, if you're waiting to pick somebody up there, you could also go in, look at these TV screens, and see what track your friend's coming in that you're going to pick up. So a lot of these people are just standing around, waiting for this train to come in. They maybe know what track it's coming in, but they're just waiting for it to come or allow people to go in, scan their tickets, and go in and get on the train. So you've got kind of a process here. You're waiting for the train to come in. You've got your ticket. And on your ticket, you're going to have a cart number. That means like, what is the train car number? And you're going to walk down, you're going to see the train car number. It's probably going to have your destination on it. So if you're going to Amsterdam, it's probably say Amsterdam, cart number nine. Then you're going to go up on that, up into the cart, and you're going to see what the seat number is. You're going to sit down and that's your seat. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about the tracks, the train tracks. Now the first two train platforms are for service only. No trains going in and out of there. But the first ones open to commuters are platform three to six that are the terminus for the Eurostar trains. I've shown you them already and we're gonna go into the Eurostar a little bit later because we're gonna go upstairs and look at the Eurostar. And these are separated from the rest of the trains due to the security checks and passport controls. Um, although the UK is part of the EU, it does not come under the Schengen Agreement of No Border Controls. Then 7 8 are for the high speed trains going to Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands, which are all part of the Schengen Agreement. Platforms 9 to 18 are high speed trains through France and the main line trains through 30 to 36 are the more standard trains and for those around the Ile de France region and 41 to 44 are underground for the RER which services Stade de France and the Charles de Gaulle airport plus there are four different metro platforms as well. You can see the sign there for the metro and for the RER you have to go down the escalator a number of levels to get to the metro and the RER. We're going to continue here on our walk and I'm going to show you where the washrooms are. Now I believe you have to pay, I think it's 50, half a euro in order to go into the washroom and use the washroom. So just be aware of that when you're going in there. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to head back to the Eurostar just to kind of go upstairs and show you where the Eurostar is and that process. But on my way here, I just want to let you know that um, there's plenty of food options in the train station. And I'm going to just kind of look down here over the railing and all these people or a lot of them might be going down to the metro. Let's say they're getting off their train and they need to get home and they need to get on the metro, they're probably going to go down a number of levels to either get on the metro or the RER. So that's what these different levels are for. Now the reason you want access to food around the train station, hypothetically, let's say you have a 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. train, you might want to come into the train station. I believe there's a Monopui just when we walked in. That's a well-known grocery store. There's access to baguettes, croissants, etc. So um, if you are waiting for your train or you get here a half hour early and you want to get some food, there's plenty of options, especially if you didn't have time really to get it at your hotel or on route. The other thing, there aren't too many overnight trains uh, from this area here, but um, if you did want access to more food, like I said, there's access to food and restaurants here and the surrounding area, just around the train station. We are heading to the Eurostar check-in. You can see people at these machines getting their train tickets. And the Eurostar is on an upper level. You have to go up an escalator. There's also some stairs. But please beware, when you have your heavy luggage, the escalator is only going up. 
not down. So if you had any sort of heavy luggage coming down, it's going to be, like I said, heavy. So we're going to head over to the Eurostar. You're going to see a number of signs here for it. Um, you can see a few little English flags or UK flags around here also. And let's head up to Eurostar. Uh, keep your eyes open. Like if you if you are coming into the no Guard de North for the Eurostar, just so you know, you're going to come in and you're going to have to go an up a level. Um, there are a number of signs, but just so you know, it's up a level. You see the long corridor there and a sign. 13 hours and 13 minutes, I think it's the next train to London. We started our walk here at noon. So what are we, maybe 15 minutes into this? So it's probably quarter after 12. So uh, there's that long hallway. I'm not gonna go down there because I'm not heading to England on the Eurostar today. But just so you know, for Eurostar, you have to come up a level. You've got a long line there. You're gonna have to go through customs. Make sure you got your passport. They will put you in a lounge and then you'll come down over top of those other trains because it's not part of the Schengen, you are crossing a border and you will come down into that glassed in area, which is the Eurostar area. It is blocked off for everybody and you will get on your train and the next time you're allowed off that train will be in London, England. I hope I've answered questions regarding tickets, Eurostar, the layout of the train station, washrooms. Now if you've ever seen one of the movies like The Born Identity, Ocean 12's, Mr. Bean's Holiday, then you may recognize the Gare du Nord train station. It's actually featured in a bunch of films. It is the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe. We're going to bring this walk through to an end. We're going to start to head outside. I'm going to show you where the taxi drop off is. Um, but while we're walking here on the way out, I want to remind you of your safety and security while in Paris and while in the train station, that there are pickpocketers in these train stations. Make sure you have your luggage close to you at all times. Never leave it unattended, especially if you're getting on the Eurostar and you're going across a border never leave your luggage unattended. Also, make sure everything's zipped up, anything of value, make sure it's not, it's, it's hidden and it's away. And it, like I said, it's zipped up. Um, a lot of people are looking up at the screens, looking for information, they're preoccupied. And these people know that, they prey on that. This is their office and this is where they work. So please have your wits about you, stay safe. We're heading out to the front of the Gare du Nord, the busiest train station in Paris and in Europe. I want to say thank you for coming along on this walk with me. If you have any questions I've not answered, please pop them in the comment section. I will get back to you ASAP with an answer. Um, and I want to say au revoir from Paris. And as I usually say, ciao for now.